way to forewarn you, if you're not into the whole radio thing or have a station at your house, this may be a little boring. So just giving you a heads up if you want to get out of here. There you go. So I'm working in the yard this morning, and it occurred to me when I walked around to the back of the house that I had not done a follow-up video as far as my tilt-over antenna mast. Well, I figured I'd get out here this morning, uh, go over the hows and whys, and then a short video of the operation, getting it down, getting it back up, and so forth. So let's walk out here, and I'll I'll show you why I set it up the way I did. Um, it's kind of it's it's going to be kind of hard to get the full the full scale of everything on this camera, uh, but I'll do the best I can. So let's give it a shot. First things first, if you can tell, I'm pretty sure you can. It's pretty obvious. This portion of the yard is has got a pretty significant uh, incline or grade to it. There is the antenna itself. And you can see that the yard, like I said, has got a pretty significant grade to it. And so that has a lot to do with how it's set up to, uh, to lay down. Um, obviously on the back side of that pole, about 40 feet away, I have wood line. Then I have wood line to the left of it as well about the same amount of distance and then right directly behind me on the back side of the camera here the house is another 40 feet away so it only left one portion of the yard to lay this thing down well as you walk up to it you'll notice that my hinge is about a foot off of the ground first of all I had some people say the hinge is not a way to go okay there's not a lot of weight on that hinge at all um, it's a pretty substantial hinge. I think it's, uh, I think it's four and a half on each side and I do have it lagged to the pole. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot of weight on it. That antenna itself probably weighs about 10 pounds, I guess. And then the majority of the weight is just the, the actual pole, the actual pipe. Um, so there's really not a, a whole lot of weight on this thing. That hinge works great. It doesn't have a whole lot of sway. It doesn't, you know, it's it's locked into place 90% uh, of the time, except for when I have to take it down and, and lay it out or, or try to retune it or anything like that. So with that being said, on the back side of where the hinge is, it leaves this portion of the yard to send it out to lay it down and uh, and, and to get out of the sky whenever the wind is, uh, is getting crazy. And we got is just a simple cheap boat winch you don't have to have a uh the, the biggest winch out there i think this was one of the smaller ones uh the if not the smallest and it ran me about 25 bucks i got it from uh what is the name of it tractor supply in town uh, it does not come with any of the cable the cable you have to buy separately this is only 340 working pound cable it's a 50 foot piece uh, I did not need to put all 50 feet on it, but I had no use for it uh, outside of building this thing. So I just ran it all on that winch. It is incredibly tough to try to keep it straight. Um, as, as you get to the top of this post, you'll see that I did add to it. The post itself was only like 30, oh, got 11 feet out of the ground. And so I bought some additional wood and actually extended this thing to reach up to 20 feet. There's a pulley up there at the top of this thing. Uh, I do have it pillar blocked. I know I don't know if you can see it or not. I have it, yeah. And it, there's a gap there. That's a pillar block there where the, the pulley is actually sitting on. The pulley is actually attached to the side. It goes through, ties it at eye hook, and allows it to come down fairly easy. Come up here. Put this on the reverse side. Where it starts to come out now only thing you have to do on this one is come over to this side give the pole just a hair a bit of a turn walk it out about six inches she does the rest and then it's just walking it down now at some when it gets closer to the ground i'll grab the eight foot ladder and we'll let it rest there Give me a chance just to check the radio to make sure everything's in good shape. There she goes.
I apologize if this GoPro is moving around. And you can see that top element is it's got a lot of bow in it, but it does it's not hurting a thing. I've let this thing down several times and it's always come back up where it needs to. Alright, now that's about far enough. I'm gonna lock it to where it sits still. Right there. I'm gonna go up here and get this ladder. My particular one's eight foot, so bring it over here. Kind of cradle it. Oh. Now you see it's kind of it's just resting on top of that eight foot ladder. I've had a lot of people say stuff about that bow up there. This thing's not got a little bit of a bow up yonder whenever there's weight on it down low like this, but it's not too bad. And now if you want to, you can just we take all the pressure off that cable. Majority of the pressure off of it anyway. And that's it. That is it completely. We can apologize because this shot isn't gonna be that great. Uh, because I, I don't have a decent uh, tripod right now but this will give you an idea you can see it coming back up so let's get started With the radials that this antenna has, you cannot initially set it flat on the ground. Um, you have to bring it down to roughly eight feet or so. I usually get by with my eight foot ladder. Um, let it rest on that, take the two uh, bottom radials off of it. Then you can move the ladder out of the way and lay this antenna out. Uh, it's it's kind of, it sounds kind of complicated. It really isn't. Uh, a lot of people would think, oh man, it's kind of crazy to have to do that. But I just kind of like having that peace of mind uh, we get in, in my area of the country, we get a lot of afternoon thunderstorms, which I'm sure a lot of people do. But the weather in this area gets absolutely nuts. Hail storms, bad winds, bad thunderstorms, obviously. And I just want that peace of mind. So if it comes up something and they, they can actually forecast and say, well, you got gusts coming in at 60 miles an hour, I can get this thing out of the sky and lay it down so it's a little safer than standing up there. Yes, it's kind of crazy, but I just... I don't play with weather. <laughs> it enables me to isolate it and not have any direct effects on the house should anything happen. So that's really why I've got it set up the way I do. To put all of that together was less than $100. Um, yes, I noted there's a couple things I need to iron out as far as the top goes. And I, I plan on actually taking down the actual post and redoing the whole thing, the custom cut post from a sawmill uh, toward the end of the year. But simple effective um and cheap that's the biggest thing you know i would love to have about 40 feet of tower but i'm just not able to put 40 feet of tower up where i'm at right now and maybe later who knows but right now it's just not cost effective and i don't have any way to to guy wire a tower out here uh, we've got grandkids that come over and play and the last thing i want happen is one of them to get hurt running, trip on a guy wire, get clotheslined by a guy wire, I would feel horrible. This is gonna have to work for now, and it does work for now. It, it works great. If you see anything that you want any more information on, please let me know. I'll do the best I can to get you some more uh, more detailed video uh, about it. Um, but I just wanted to get you an idea, show you guys how this thing operated. Uh, no, it's not the best thing out of it, but it works for me. And so 
maybe if you're confined on space, it could work for you also. Till then, you guys take good care, and we'll catch you on the next video. Later. Thank you.